Hello, did you click on this video because you want to hear a Minecraft secret? Or maybe you clicked on it just because you like me. Or maybe you clicked on it because you hate me. What? Well, in today's video, I'm going to teach you guys Minecraft secrets that you didn't know. I compiled a list of a bunch of videos with Minecraft secrets, and we're going to test them and see if they're actually true. Starting off with our first one, this guy's going to grow something on bedrock. Check this out. So he has bedrock right here, and then he puts a melon on it, and then it turns into seeds, and... What the heck? This man's growing carrots on bedrock. This is, no. All right, so he's got magma, he has grass, and he turns it into potatoes, and then he grows it. He's growing potatoes on a magma block? What? Look at that! Look at that! He actually grew them! Okay, now he's got a melon here. Grass around it, and then he turns it into a pumpkin. This man is growing a pumpkin on top of a melon. What? Is he gonna do it again? Now he's growing a melon on a pumpkin. Oh my gosh! All I'm saying, and I'm just saying, all I'm saying is I'm just saying, hello sheep, how's it going? I'm saying that if this works, you guys have to leave a like on this video. If I can grow a carrot on bedrock, leave a like on this video, because I guarantee you, you did not know that you could do this. I got my bedrock right here, and then I placed my melon, and then he did set block, and then let me do the coordinates, so it's 233, 64, 130, and then he did, looks like I spawned it in the wrong block. Maybe let me try 132? Oh, broke it. I'm confused. What he does in the video is he places a melon down and then the seeds replace the melon but if i spawn it in like this oh look at that could not set the block because it's bedrock guys it's not it's not working i don't know what to say no the other one is a magma block he places down a magma block then places a grass block and then he replaces it with potatoes and it spawns it right here that is the right coordinates. If I step on this block, you guys can see negative 233, 64, 130. They match perfectly, but it spawns it to the block next to it because it can't replace this block. Like, for example, if I move the 64 to 65, it now spawns here. Wait, can I grow it? Well, what have I just done? Oh! I just made floating potatoes. I hate to say that the bedrock and the magma and the growing potatoes on tomatoes is... is, is False, unfortunately. This next one, this guy's gonna show us how to make a base under the bedrock, in, in the void, basically. So he spawns in a chicken, which is weird. He spawns in some boats and pushes them together, and it looks like they have to align perfectly. And then he drops all the boats, and now you can go down there. He's pushing a chest down there, so I guess you can get some storage. What the heck, dude? That's spawn in the chicken, so I basically have to do this, break, this and then somehow get him to lead on this. There we go, I did it. You can't really do this in survival mode because uh, you can't break bedrock. Yeah. I mean, I guess what's the point of building something under here if you can like fly under here and just look and then go back up, but I mean, we're just gonna try it. Hey buddy, how's it going? This dude's literally holding on for his life. <laughs> this is literally exactly how the guy had it. Like I'm looking at it screen for screen. I, I, this is perfect. And then all he does after that is he just deletes the slabs under the boat and they should fall and land on the- Oh. Uh. <laughs> the chicken got in the boat and he died! Yeah, I guess that one doesn't work. <laughs> Alright, on to the next one. This dude is gonna show us every single thing you can go through with an ender pearl. So first off, he tries a stone wall and you can't make it through a stone wall. Now, iron bars, yes. Glass, yes. Fences, yes. Chest, Yes. Enchanting tables. Yes. You can actually make it through a door as well. I did not know that. Leaves. And then also a cactus? You can make it through a cactus? Okay, I didn't know the cactus one. Let's do this. Here we go. Iron bars. Easy. Glass. Easy. Fences. Here we go. Easy. And we have a chest. Easy. Enchant me. Oh. I died. I'm ready to test all these. Here we go. I've also eaten enchanted golden apple so I don't die from uh, the fall damage or the damage that you take from the end of the pearl. Here we go. Iron bars. Check. G blah, 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 glass. Check. Fences. Check. Chest. Easy. And then uh, this boy. Easy. And then here we have a solid door as you can see. I low-key did not know that you could go straight through a door, but there you go. Here is some leaves. Easy, and then we have the world's tallest cactus that I've uh, hand grown myself. Let's see if we can go through it and that was easy. Wow <laughs> I personally didn't know that you could go through a door or a cactus, but all the other ones I knew 
guy here is about to break the game. Everyone knows that you can't place water. You just saw him place that bucket and it just it just vanished because it's so hot in the nether. But he places a cauldron and you can place water in the cauldron. Ah. And then if you ignite TNT next to it, which I'm assuming is going to explode the cauldron, water will start flowing. That's my guess. Oh my gosh, look at that. Yo, there's no flipping way this works. Someone would have figured this out years ago. If you place water, as you can see, nothing. Place the cauldron, place water in the cauldron. Okay, so that actually works. That's interesting because I didn't know that worked. And then you place TNT and then you explode the cauldron. Huh? <laughs> Yeah, let me try a different placement of TNT. So place the water, place the cauldron, place the water. What if I place it here? What if it's a little further away so it's not as intense of an explosion? Okay, that doesn't work. All right, now we're even further away. Let's see if this works, maybe? Nope, it still just takes away the wa- Okay, so I'm gonna consider this one false. This dude's making a trap for zombies. So his house is floating and he puts down a bunch of sunflowers and then carpet and then it actually allows for zombies to not walk over it. They just get confused and they just, yeah. Is this an effective zombie trap where zombies won't make it to your house? We're gonna put it to the ultimate test. This is my beautiful house. Hopefully your house is prettier than this. And then we're gonna build this pathway right here to the house. And then we're just gonna cover it with sunflowers as you can see. And then let's go ahead and put down some carpet. All right, so you can jump on the carpet. You know, you can smack it around. You can run on it. As you can see, it works looks great as a pathway, but let's test the zombie myth. All right, moment of truth. Here comes our zombie and oh, it's working. He's spinning, look at him. Oh, but he is walking forward though. So he spins for a little bit. Oh, he's spinning a lot. Oh, okay, okay, let me back up here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> He's just so confused. So I can easily just go up and push him off just like that. So it looks like he will eventually make it to your house, but it takes him a while. All right, here we have all our zombies and look at them. There's tons of baby zombies too. They're all just falling off the edge. Dude, they're not even making it that far. Oh, this one's actually kind of smart. Nah, back up, bro. Look at the baby zombies. They're just, I'm in survival mode. They're, they're coming for me. They're just so confused on what to do. Oh my gosh. This is actually Warning. hilarious. Okay, well, once they get past the carpet, they're kind of a savage. Excuse me. <laughs> this dude is somehow gonna teach us how to make a working swing in Minecraft. Who needs swing when you can jump off the cliff? <laughs> <laughs> so he puts a rail in like a little dip. Okay, very nice. And then he, oh my gosh, it actually works. Wait, what? I'm not gonna say this one is false. I think this one works, but we'll build it in Minecraft. I built this thing, it's actually really easy and it does work, but the whole carpet thing, putting carpet over it makes it actually stop. So if I continue him, like he, he will get eventually stuck right there. So I didn't put any of the carpet over it. It does work technically and I can ride it. So let me start him up again. Here we go. There we go. Okay, so I'm on a swing. Very nice. If you want to build a swing, go ahead and do it. For this next one, I have no idea what this dude's building. Oh, is it another armor stand thing, bro? Come on, we just did this. What? The heck is this? All right, so he turns it on and then he breaks everything. Oh, the water's not moving. Oh, is he gonna get an Enderman to spawn in the wall? Oh, okay. Nah, no way this works. This is sus. I've built this contraption and I will spawn a lever on this contraption. We turned on the dispensers. Oh wait, no, didn't he leave them on? I think he left them on and then he broke it. I don't remember. Oh. <laughs> Okay, well, either way, <laughs> yeah, that definitely doesn't work. This dude's gonna teach you how to make an elevator with honey blocks. Uh, if you get this many honey blocks in Minecraft, that's a lot of honey. Putting all the honey blocks and then he is doing water. Very nice. So you, oh, what? That is very interesting. It also looks very easy to build. So I built it, It's uh, it was extremely easy. There's water in the middle and then at the bottom, make sure you put the soul sand because that's what allows the water to, you know, shoot up. All right, so we're in survival yeah. mode, let's see. Oh my gosh, you it's so quick. How do you get down though? Can you get down safely? Oh, I don't know about getting down though. 
Yeah, I don't know if you can... Oh, uh, yeah, getting down. Getting down is kind of sketch. Uh, maybe if you put, like, a water bucket down or something and jump. This is 11 blocks. Look how fast I get up it. Whoop! All right, this is an infinite diamond bug. Also, bruh, how are you gonna spell diamonds like that? Come on. I'm gonna go ahead and already tell you, because this guy can't spell diamonds, this is definitely false. So he is hooking a diamond block up to a piston, and then- Bro, bro no way! Literally, what? This is exactly what the dude does, believe it or not. He hooks up a slime block to a piston, and then- Wait, what? Okay, it got me there for a second, because I saw that one under there, and I was like, wait, what? Does not work, my guy. Um, yeah, that was 110% thousand false. How to fly in survival Minecraft. This dude gets a llama, puts him in a mine cart, and it looks like he has a fishing rod, and he is making the llama fly. Okay, I mean, this is cool, because you're going straight up, but how do you move sideways? Like, what's the point of just going straight up? Right here, I have Mr. Llama. Hello, how's it going? Mr. Mr. Llama, if you could go ahead and get in this minecart for me, if you could be a good boy and get in the minecart. If yep, there you go, good boy. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give us some room. You know, give us some takeoff room. You know. All right, let me hop on, buddy. Here we go. Ready, ready. You ready to go to the moon? You ready to go to the moon? He's so confused. He's like, why are you smacking me with a fishing rod? I mean, I can't even fly with the llama. Like, I'm in creative mode right now, and I can't even fly with him. I highly doubt a fishing rod. Yeah, this one's false. Dude, this dude's creating a brand new Minecraft world, and he calls it Jeb underscore. And oh no, is it gonna make his world upside down? I know exactly what's gonna happen, and there's no... Oh, there's rainbow sheep. Okay, so his world isn't upside down. There's just a bunch of rainbow sheep. Huh. Interesting. I still think this is false, but we can give it a try. He did not provide a seed. He literally just said Jeb underscore. That's it. Survival mode. We're going in. There's no flipping way this is gonna work. All right, do you guys see any rainbow sheep around me? We'll go ahead and look around. Nothing, nothing. There's a horse. I don't even see a single sheep. My world is not upside down. Everything's pretty uh, pretty normal over here. All right, yep, so I'm gonna consider that one uh, false -a All right, what do we got this guy doing now? So he's walking up a staircase. He puts down a piece of dirt and a rail and a TNT. He drops it on his head. This is 100% false. Absolutely no way. We have our we have our minecart here. It's on the rail. Okay, so you're supposed to crouch, as you can guys see. I am crouching. Oh. <coughs> what the flip? You're serious? You're serious? It actually works? No flipping way, dude. What? And then if I uncrouch? Okay, it doesn't explode. Oh my gosh. Yo, I did not think that was gonna work. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to click that subscribe button. Otherwise you're gonna miss out on all my crazy content and goodbye.